25 years ago this week, the eyes of the world were on Miami Beach. Johnny Versace was dead, and the manhunt for his killer dominated the headlines as Andrew Cunanan was hiding among us. It was an intense eight days. CBS 4's Hank Tester has a look back. Cross-country serial killer Andrew Cunanan had made national news in mid-May of 1997. No one knows where Andrew Cunanan is right now. This as he quietly arrived in Miami Beach, four dead in the wake of his arrival, checked into the Normandy Hotel. For two months, he was under the radar, hustling, scraping by on the streets of South Beach. Internationally known fashion designer Gianni Versace was a man of habit. Ate breakfast at Ocean Drive's News Cafe, strolled back to his mansion just up the street. All that ended the morning of July 15th at the front gate of Casa Casarina. Blood on the steps told a story. Versace had been shot with a 40 caliber handgun. Soon there was an international media frenzy. A red pickup truck was discovered in a municipal parking garage on 13th Street. The truck, stolen by Andrew Cunanan, belonged to one of his victims. Detectives find Cunanan's clothes, and clippings of newspaper reports about the earlier murders, and a key clue, a pawn shop ticket issued to Andrew Cunanan. These are pictures from uh, Miami, where the fashion designer Gianni Versace has been shot dead. Suddenly, Miami Beach had a serial killer in their midst. There was fear. Multiple law enforcement agencies on the hunt. Members of the gay community worried. Their worry? Am I next? High-profile homosexuals are most at risk. For the next eight days, a search was on for Andrew Cunanan. There had been missed opportunities. That pawn shop transaction had been reported to Miami Beach police, but not reviewed until after the Versace shooting. Cunanan had used his real name and his Normandy hotel address. And cops missed Cunanan July 11th in the Miami subs on Miami Beach. Recognized from a, an America's Most Wanted broadcast four days before Versace was gunned down. Cunanan stayed on the beach after the ambush, did not flee. It was believed first he hid in a sailboat, sometime later breaking and entering a houseboat moored in plain sight at 5200 Collins Avenue in the shadow of major hotels and condos. Be on the lookout for this man, 27-year-old Andrew Cunanan. The search for Andrew Cunanan was the nightly lead story on local TV as tensions ran heavy on the beach. It was not law enforcement that triggered Andrew Cunanan's end. It was a caretaker who entered the houseboat and heard a shot. When law enforcement got inside the floating hideout, they found a body. And after much confusion, the announcement came. Andrew Cunanan had taken his own life with the same 40 caliber handgun he'd used in his serial killing spree. The South Beach nightmare was over. We all have our stories about covering Andrew Cunanan. In my rush to get to the scene, I drove into the 13th Street parking garage that you saw in the story. I passed by a cop standing by a red pickup truck, so intent to getting to the scene at the Versace mansion. What I did not compute was, I later realized that was Andrew Cunanan's truck, and in my rush, I had missed a major scoop. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News. And CBS 4's Peter Dent spoke with the man who was chief at the time. Catch that story Wednesday at 11 on CBS 4 News.